Whoa, hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Empire of Sin. Now I'm just basically showing you the last uh, boss fight type of uh, part of the game, so... I've beat this game uh, four times. So... Of all four of these, so... Next one is this one. I'm gonna go ahead and... Load the manual save, I think. It should be right before the uh, safe house. So we will see where this puts us. And as long as we survive the battle, um, or the, you know, the, the encounter. Pause. Okay, so... Let's take a look and see. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is a safe house here. Now, if I beat him here, I will get all of his buildings right here. Because I, I think I'm right here. I only have these buildings here. But yeah, so he's right here, and here I am, he's right there, see a safe house I have right here, and then over here you can see that I have this, and I have a safe house. And I got uh, Theodore Hunter here. And then Little Italy. I got Tommy Biscuits here. In my safe house there. Uh, cops are on the run here. They might attack us. I'm not 100% certain on that. And we got uh, Gudo, the con artist, over here. So uh, if I can show you... This is my crew. You is the first g the guy that I get into my crew. And she's the second. She might be the third that I get into my crew. He's about the fourth I get. And then I will put him into a safe house. So you lose the guy that you put in a safe house. And then her, I, I, I was lucky to get her. She does take 12% of the profits though. She has 120, 127 health, that's what I like about her. Um, I get her last, pretty much last. Him I get uh, relatively in the middle because, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I, he only has 60 health, so I put him into a safe house. And this guy, he's got 72, which is not bad, but if I need somebody in a safe house, he usually ends up there. He does take 8%. And then I, I try to get Esther here. She's got 81 in health. Um, I gave her this armor. Um, but she takes 13%. So, so the ones that you see that take a little bit more than 4%. Like, because you can see, the reason I like him, he only takes 4%. She only takes 4%. She only takes 4%. He only takes 4%. But 12, and, the, and he takes 4%, 8, 13. So that's a, if you see all these gangsters here. I've used him before in the past. I, I've even got him one time. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to basically show you that. These are all the gangsters you can get, but I don't like these guys because they all take like 20%. 
And uh, as you can see, per turn I'm making, per week I think, I'm making 11,000. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm doing pretty good as far as money goes. Not doing great, but, and we got plenty of booze. So, and we're at a thousand, so. So yeah, I just basically wanted to show you that. But we got a boss fight to do, and um, and I think once I knock this boss out, you know the game, I I, I win with uh, Durant. Hey, look at the water there. Does that look? Doesn't that look kind of cool? The boat, nice. It's really nice. But gotta get back over here somewhere. All right. So I think all I gotta do and yeah. Let me just make sure they all got something here. Those guys... Okay, Esther. Yeah, let me go to the shop for a minute. Oh! Yeah, let me grab that dynamite. Oh, and let me grab these while we're here. Alright. This is good too, but that's that. All right, so let's go back to my my guys here. Restores 25 health. 25 health for the next four rounds and grants 10% chance to resist negative effects. So that's not bad. All right. Now he's not going to be in a battle. He's in a safe house. He's in a safe house, but she's with us, and I want to upgrade these. I want to upgrade those to this, because we're probably going to need them. Now we do have, we do have a grenade, so I'm wondering... Who do I want to give? Like, she's got this dynamite. Yeah, maybe... Maybe I'll give my sniper... Dynamite 2. And this is 30 health each round. So, that might be better than a bandage. And then he's in a safe house, so he ain't gonna do me any good. And she's okay. So yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go in like that. Alright. That's about the best that I can do, so we're gonna go ahead, go right See? here, and attack. And so we got we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we're gonna fight, and and they're gonna scramble, and it just yeah. So see, now the way this this happened, the way this happened, um, you can see that my boss is here. It's not the place where I want my boss, but it's where she ended up. Oh my gosh. It is not where I wanted her. What am I going to do? Man, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six right here. Now, are they all? No, and that is their underboss right there. Oh, but wait a minute. This guy here, Gibby, I think I can turn him. So let's try. All right, well, well, I usually like my boss over here because there's going to be a lot of fighting going on in here. And I, you know, but what I can do here is use Devil's Breath on him and he'll turn. The problem is... This uh, 
underboss can come over here and turn him back. So if the underboss was over here, I wouldn't have to worry about that. You know, and that's why I needed her over here so she could turn somebody over here and then they would end up shooting at their own guy, whatever. So I'm just gonna have to make do a, I'm gonna have to do a gamble. So let's see what happens. Now, if if this underboss does now the problem with the underboss is they can throw a grenade and she can just come over here and turn him back, and then you know what I mean. So so this all sucked the way this this turned out. This is it's always a a gamble right here of who ends up over here. And I'd just rather have a different character there, but now granted I could load the save, but you know what I mean. That ain't gonna happen, so alright. Let's just get on with the battle. Okay, so now the good thing with you is I can I can do this. Protect yourself and allies within range. Apply a 40% damage reduction to yourself and allies in range for the next three turns. So he'll do that. But that's all he can do for that turn. That kind of sucks. So now that when they shoot, we have a little bit of protection. Not much, but... Okay, now let's see what she's going to do. Ah, she's going to shoot at her own guy. That's good, in a way. So now, he can... You know what I'm going to do with him? I'm going to... Because he's got a grenade. So, if I throw this grenade over here... Let me see. Ah, oh, but I ain't going to be able to get... Yeah. Maybe I can throw it... Right there, and it might get two of them. Let's try it. Shit. All right. Well, that that worked better than expected. Um, cause I thought her first move would be to. Cause I know you never try to turn the an underboss, cause they'll turn themselves back, and it's just a waste. So, but anyways, we're, we're here now. Now, I know with her, she could throw this. Because there are two guys over here, so why don't we do that? Hey, I don't know if she can, no, right here. We can get two, so let's just go ahead and do that. And I gave her the perk of if she throws, she if, if you if you throw this one, she won't get to be able to do it. It'll, that'll be the only thing she can do. But if you give her a grenade or dynamite and she gets to throw it, it doesn't end her turn and she can still shoot. And that's what I like about that perk, which is what I gave her. So now... I get to let her shoot too, so I get an extra free shot. But she missed, so that's not good. Alright, so let's see what Esther can do of where Esther is. Like, I don't even know. Oh, she's right over here. Alright, so she can shoot that guy, so let's see what Esther does. Hey, 46 critical, not bad. Uh oh, now. I'm gonna step on you. Uh oh, could be trouble. All right. Oh my, my sniper. Oh, they're picking on my sniper and my dock. Now I don't know if I give her health. Hey, and she can actually throw dynamite. Hmm. Yeah, dynamite be would be good on two people, not. Not um, one, but let me see. Yeah, she can throw it there. Let 
I mean, it might be better if there's two of them, so maybe I will just get her to snipe. Yeah, look, almost a kill. I know. Okay, they're all... Uh-oh, moving down. Okay, so now... Like I said, having my boss over here, I don't know how this is going to work out. Normally, another... Another member would go over here, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Usually I want my boss. Hey, see? Yeah, now this one bled to death, so that, that's good. That's what I like about the sniper. They can have bleeding, uh, like chance of bleeding and stuff. Okay, um, okay, so now she... Now, what you don't want to do... When, when you're with Elvira and she turns somebody, you don't want to heal him because he'll resort back to the enemy. He, he will get hurt each turn and then he'll die. But if, if, you, if you let him heal himself or you let her heal him, he'll turn back to the enemy and that's what you don't want to have happen. So now with her, what can I do with her? Um, she can just shoot at somebody. And why wouldn't you want to shoot... Like, maybe because she can kill this one. Maybe, or whatever, but I, I think I would rather have her shoot at the... Um, underboss. So let's do that. All right, well, she's going to fire at that one. Oh, so far, other than the dock and snipe getting hurt, I think everybody else is okay so far. Um, so let's see who you can shoot at. Hey, he didn't miss, so that's good. Sometimes he misses. Uh-oh, yeah, see, they're concentrating on my sniper, my dog. So we, we gotta definitely have her use her medicine. Oh, now this one just put protection on. Darn it. Oh, and he got killed. He got killed. Darn, I didn't get to use him that time. Okay, well, they killed their own guy, basically. I did get to throw his grenade, so that was okay. All right, so let's see. What would be the best thing for her to do? Ah, she can actually shoot at him. Then that would be good. All right, and then Esther could probably shoot at that one. 100%. All right, good. All right, well, well that worked out. So we've got to be good feeling about that. The only problem is, you know, I got my boss over here, which normally that doesn't happen. So, oh yeah, and Esther, with Esther, you get an extra move on her. So it might be good to put Esther... Do I need her? Well, maybe I need Esther. Well, maybe I can put Esther right here. Shall I... Okay, Theodore Hunter is now worried since his lover Noah Quinn has low health. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, she... Okay, I have no choice. She has to heal herself. Uh, uh, don't mind me. They're picking on her. So now the thing that sucks about that... Hey, but she can throw the dynamite. She, or reload, but she can't shoot. So I think if she can throw the dynamite, we got to see who can she throw it at. Nobody. Nobody's in range. Darn. That sucks because she could throw it. You know what I mean? Like... She can't throw it that far, though. That really bites. So all I can do now is just reload her. 
Which that sucks, because, you know, whatever. Okay, now, again, my poor boss. Oh, but they're, shoot they're shooting at them. Okay, well then. Alright, so now my boss has to decide what she's gonna do. She's not, she's not even hurt. So that means... Let me see. Well, my boss could definitely kill this one. So, but I would rather have her try to kill the underboss. So let's do that. And she didn't kill her, but at least she hurt her quite a bit. Now, now this lady here, she, and she's here. She hasn't been hit yet. So if she can keep shooting at somebody, to me, it's it's all good. You know what I mean? Like. She hasn't been hit. You hasn't been hit. If you can shoot. And he killed her. That's great. Oh, but see. Darn. Hey, she moved her. Yeah, but she's only got 25 health. So I think what's going to happen is I, I might melee her and kill her. When, when it's when it's her turn now now what we do I don't know could she throw that there yeah. and now can she kill that guy? Nope, but you put some hurt on him, and now, hey, my sniper is hurt again. My goodness. All right, well, this is just as good as this, so let's let's go ahead and give her that. That'll give her 30 each turn for three turns, I think, and then she even has this as her own uh, thing. But I gave her the one that she was carrying. And again, she can throw dynamite, but there's nobody that she can throw to. So that, again, that again sucks. So maybe, maybe I should just try to move her into a better position. Well, maybe I can't move. Well, I can only move her to these spaces here, so... Yeah, but then again, well, wait, why don't I put it here? Look at, this is much better protection for her. <coughs> oh. Hey, hey, he's bleeding. Okay, so now we got a real dilemma here, but she's got 25 health. You know what? I'm going to try melee on her. Oh, it didn't quite kill her though. Darn it. Oh man. That looked kind of cool though, didn't it? Alright, now she's not in a position to shoot anybody. Now, we got the boss. Here's the boss. I don't think he's got anybody else. Except the ones all over here, so... Am I gonna need everybody over there or should I start moving people? Alright, well let's get her to right there and I guess I'll reload her all right and now you well because the boss is gonna come out and fight us so so we got to prepare for that so why don't I put you right there uh oh okay and now she's okay right where she is because she can shoot at them. So she's going to do that. And then Esther's in a good spot to shoot him too. So yeah, killed that one. So that's another one down. 
And again with Esther, we can move again, but I don't know. There's still another one right there, so... I mean, this is a good protection right here, so we're just going to enter a turn. Now, my sniper is not in my dock. She's not in a good position to shoot, so maybe she can go... Maybe she can go right there. We're just preparing for when the boss comes up. Right away. Because my boss is handling all these so far. Oh look! She just died from bleeding. From the knife from the knife wound. So now that is really good. So that would mean I probably could move her to here. And she can also fire. Alright. We just got to kill. Alright. Well, that's good. Like, remember when I, when I first started this, folks? Remember I said I didn't know because they put my boss over here if this would work? But it really did. It worked out. They're all dead. Okay, so now she can shoot at their boss. Only a 22% chance. So that's okay. So now we just got... I think we just got the boss to kill. So now I gotta just figure out how am I gonna get everybody involved. So you... You is... Okay, you is... Alright, you... Why don't you go to there? And you still can't shoot, so you're just going to hunker down. Because he's going to have to come out and fight. He'll do a suicide mission. Okay, now. Yeah, I think everybody should be in a position to shoot at the boss. Let's see, can... Can Esther go right there? Hey, and she can actually get a shot off. And she hit. A 49 critical. Alright, and now my sniper. Which I gave her that potion, so she gets 30 health each turn. So that puts her back up to 90. So that stuff works out pretty good. And the sniper hit. Took 61 away, but he, he could probably do his medicine, probably. Or... Alright, so now I think what I'm going to do is get her to go... Should she go here or here? Let's put her here. She ain't going to be able to shoot because that's a long way to... Oh, yeah! No, she can't. This one can. Alright, let's do it. This might be the win right here. All right. Well, I think I did it pretty good. That was the oh, yeah. We did it. Yes, we did it. Yes. All right. So we got a model 1915 blue pistol. So it's rare. So. So I would probably equip one of my players with this weapon. But as you can see, we took out him, his safe house, near north side. So I think this should wipe him out and I should get all of his stuff. And this is the win, as you can see. Got difficulty level made man. So, you know, it's the second... So the first associate is the easiest, and then maid man is the next. Lieutenant is kind of like middle of the way. And then um, underboss and, and boss. And now, like I said, I've tried those, and I don't like, even at the beginning of the game, any one of the mob guys can kill you outright. So... I don't like playing that way, even though I can save the game and 
it just it'll ju it just takes super long for me to play the game under those conditions if I don't want to lose a member because I have to constantly save constantly reload and stuff so 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 yeah so anyways I'm, I'm just letting you know you know just the way that I played it that, that's what I do so anyways so this is Elvira Durante who has won the game July 26, 1922. There were five neighborhoods, so it, it took quite a while to get this one going and to get to this point, but but I did, so and I just wanted to show it, that's all. Didn't want to show much other than me doing the last battle and getting through it and winning the game. You're Elvira Duarte, right? It seems you've settled into Chicago well from what I hear. Very well. Chicago has been good to my family, but I am feeling restless. Well, you ain't thinking about retiring then? Passing on the family business to someone else? Retirement sounds like death. So what then? I think I will build a church. And then there's so much of America I would like to see with my family. All right, well, I think that's going to be it. All right, well, that wraps up the four times that I beat the game under those characters. As you can see right here. That's all I've done. Um, it was, it was fun. It's not a bad game. Uh, you know, so... Tell me what you think, if you think about anything. I don't know if you'd be interested in me doing like an actual campaign or whatever of it, but I mean... And, and set it all to whatever, the neighborhoods, but... You know, I did five neighborhoods and, and that was it. I, I usually try to just do three neighborhoods because I just want to... You know... Because each time you beat the game with a boss, you get an achievement on Steam. So I was just trying to... But I've only, you know, beat the game four times. But anyways, what can I say? Anyways, it's your friend Jeff. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourself. Be kind to others and be kind to yourself. God bless you and your own religion, of course. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos! Adios, amigas! <laughs>